Here's an interesting thing though that you need to remember. This works fine before each works fine, but there is a catch with before all and after all. And let me demonstrate that. Say I put a, a teardown method here and say void cleanup. And then here I'm just going to do a system.out. All right, simple cleanup code, and I'm going to do the at after each. All right, so think about what JUnit has to do to get this to work. I told you that JUnit creates a new instance of MathUtils test, right? The runner creates a new instance of MathUtils test. If you were to write your own JUnit, right? If you were to write the framework, what you would do is say MathUtils test equals new MathUtils test, and then you're going to look at the scan, uh, scan the annotations, okay, before each. So I'm going to um, run that method, call the init, and then call each method, and then loop through as many methods are there. The before all and after all are methods that execute even before the instance is created. Right? You might be wondering, well, if a new instance is being created every time, when does the before all and when does the after all run? Right? You, you imagine I'm running test add, creates a new instance, runs in it, runs test add, and runs uh, cleanup. When is the before all after all running? It runs before the instance is created. All right? And after all the tests are run, after the instance is terminated. So this leads to a problem. If you have a method here, so let's say I have a, a wide before all init. Okay, and I'm going to do system dot out. This needs to run before all. Okay, the problem is this method has to execute even before the instance is created. Now that leads to a problem. Now JUnit, if you're writing a framework, you wouldn't be able to create run a method of that class before the instance of that class itself is created, right? How can you run before all init even before you initialize the MathUtils test when that before all init is in that same class that you need to initialize to run? You seeing the problem here? So this is the reason why if you were to do a before all here, import this. This will lead to an error if I run it. Doesn't have the instance to run that. All right. Let's see, you can ask the error. It doesn't work because JUnit does not have the class to run that method. So in order to do this, there's a restriction on before all and after all. The methods that you annotate with before all and after all have to be static, right? That's the only way you can get the framework to execute the method even before initializing the class. And you know that uh, a static method does not have the dependency on an instance. You can run a static method before um, the instance is created. So let's run this again and see if this works. You see here, it worked fine. And now here you see, um, let me open the console. Here you see this needs to run before all, is the before all in it. And then uh, the initialization, we already verified that it works. And then uh, you have three cleaning ups because the after each runs after each method.